you guys seem to enjoy seeing some of my older builds that were kind of questionable back in the day. And I found another beauty today where we're going to go in and completely renovate it into my tastes. Now, that is what we're going to do. Loved all of your comments last time. You seem to enjoy me completely slating and ripping my builds a new asshole. But that's what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, let's go and have a little look at the build that will be getting that treatment. And we will roast it to within an inch of its life. So here we are, my darlings, in the world of Granite Falls to this rather questionable lot that I created many years ago. I think the newest pack when this was built was probably Spa Day. What was I thinking? It's just a complete and utter mismatch of different styles. And I named it the Contemporary Cabin. Now, there's nothing contemporary about this. Just awful. Awful, awful, awful. So what we're going to go around and do now is just completely rip in to what I decided on doing those years ago. And um, yes, the utter audacity of this roof shape that I decided on for some reason with its big bendy frame and extra long flap over the other side. The fact that I had the audacity to use a tall wall height on top of a smaller wall height in this kind of style will leave me baffled. The cheek of using astral turf on this walkway for some reason just makes me now feel a little bit sick. The sheer amount of lanterns that I decided to put up on top of this half wall for some reason. This McMansion turret that I decided on building um, on this contemporary cabin. Using the glass dance floors as skylights with also a wall going directly through them into the bathroom as well. Just the overall look of this kind of cinema room in that McMansion turret with the amount of mirrors for some reason that I decided to put up on the wall for some kind of, you know, architectural detail. Just the sheer length of this kitchen that I decided to put in. It's about a mile long and I have no idea why I decided to do that. The tree lanterns on the bed. What are you doing? Do in, my love. I really don't like it, Kath. The fact I decided to give the bathroom its own kind of like private viewing gallery for some reason with a big hefty window looking into somebody washing their pasty. And just the general mismatch of style that I've got going on here, um, which does not make this lot cohesive in the slightest, to be honest. So we have definitely got our work cut out for us. I think what I'm going to do is completely just strip this back to what I want to be able to work with something. I'm going to change the shape of it slightly. So I'm going to come back in, well, two seconds for you guys. And we're going to have a completely different look. And here she is. She has been gutted. We've gone for the same kind of shape. I still wanted it to kind of look similar shaped to how it was before, that kind of L shape. But I've just got rid of everything, all the drama, all the unnecessary awfulness. And we've gone for a much simpler shape. But yet, yeah, I've utilised the space a lot better as well. So what I'm going to do is show you the floor plans, my love. So we'll start at the bottom floor. So this is going to be a bedroom down here. Bedroom with a bathroom. Each of the bathroom, each of the bedrooms have got their own bathroom. This is the entrance here to get up into the other two bedrooms here. So there's another two bedrooms, each with their own bathroom of this area as well. So it's a nice three bedroom contemporary cabin. I'm going to say it's like a rental, a modern rental. Um, and then over this side, we have got, I'm going to be putting a living room and a kitchen diner in this side here. I've got rid of just all the unnecessary awfulness, but still kept it within the kind of vein. My idea of a contemporary looking building so that's what we're going to do that is what we're going to do obviously i have not picked all of the wallpapers or the windows or stuff yet i'm going to keep the majority of the landscaping but i'm just going to perfect it a little bit as i would now 
um and that means kind of like utilizing a lot of the stuff that we've got around here that we can use with the kind of live edit cheat that i probably didn't have when i built this originally haven't really touched the back of this yet i'm still gonna have this as like a hangout space what i want to go for is a very modern rustic but still very contemporary vibe so what i want to do now is i'm going to go ahead pick all of the wallpapers and windows get them in and then we're going to chart this place up in live time together this is what i've come up with this is the design i'm kind of feeling it i've got to utilize these windows as well from eco lifestyle which i haven't used before these kind of screens um main reasons being what i was thinking was privacy reasons this is obviously in a communal area with all of these other houses and stuff around it so architecturally speaking what i was thinking was these would kind of act as privacy and yet you can still open them up and get the best view out onto the lake area as well so that was what was in my head for that um so i've used this ready brick i just think this brick looks really lovely with the black um and i've kind of utilized it um in other places as well say around here i've kind of like pulled it up onto the top area i've yet to put the windows and stuff in on this side and there yeah, we'll do that together but i just thought i'd give you guys the kind of gist of what we're going to go for today so got rid of a lot of the landscaping as well we're going to put it in together we're going to put it in together and i kind of want to use a bit more tree like a few more bigger trees in the front garden area again acting as kind of like privacy kind of thing so it's kind of nestled away oh i'm vibing with it i want this to kind of be in the woods which it is um but just have it's like the house just planted in between all of these like bigger trees. I just think that would look really lovely. That's what we're going to do. Now I'm kind of feeling this fountain thing. Um, It's kind of nodding to that contemporary vibe that we were going for in the original video. Um, So that is what I'm going to do today. Yes, we are. We're going to make a start on this front area here together. So I definitely want to get a different, yes, a different water. And I'm thinking about putting that crystally blue water back here as well. Or we could go for something just a little bit more, yes, like that. That's better. That fits into that pool a lot nicer there. Now, terrain paints. I'm definitely going to go down the route of probably using some kind of gravel. Maybe that new gravel that we've got. We could even use this grey one, actually, which would look nice. Um, that new gravel is really light, though, isn't it? But mm, it might look okay. I think that could work, you know. Oh, I'm going to try. We're going to trial it. Let's get some really lovely overgrown ivy pieces as well. So there we have it. A little palette of greenery. We're going to flop this around together now. So I definitely want this ivy all the way down this path, to be honest with you. To be honest, I'm going to flop it all the way down. That was a very fast zoom out then. Oh, Lou took my head off, darlings. Yeah, I think that would probably do for that. And I'm going to thicken it up in the middle by using a bit of this, which is from Island Living. Just so it's a little bit more chunky in the middle, just so I like it. Beautiful. Don't forget, we haven't done the terrain paints yet, so it's going to be looking a little bit weird. I do want to put some bigger bushes around that area as well, but I'm just going to make this pond come to life a little bit more by putting some of these kind of reeds in them. Yeah, that kind of envelopes it in nice there. Now, you do look nice here, so I may even use a few of you on this side. I'm going to put a rock here. Um, and I did want an, one of these and this bit here as well. So I might even have to go into that thicker bushy bit and just plonk one of these in. Let's hope that it doesn't come through on the other side like it is doing right now. You little shit. Yes, yes, that's nice and terrain paint as well now i've put a fence around the pool area just because i just wanted a bit more privacy on this part um, and this is very open so i think this would look great with like a little bit more privacy and obviously they've got access up here as well up into the like roof terrace which i want to do some sun lounges and stuff because the view would be great from up here maybe even a nice bit of entertaining space up there like the dining table and stuff um we'll see we'll see what happens with that but uh, let me go around, perfect a bit more of the landscaping and put in some terrain paints and then we'll make a start on some other bits. So the terrain paints and the landscaping has been perfected. Um, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous. I also did around the back here as well. So you can see I've used the same greenery that I've just been using on the whole build, but I've really built it up around this area. 
just to act as some kind of privacy because this is all like sort of like public sort of um footpaths so i just want this house to just feel enveloped in some kind of privacy and that's what i've done um just changed the colors of the tent and stuff that i use just so it fits in with the aesthetic of the actual cabin itself i've also popped in all of the windows as well so these are the windows that we're going for i decided on leaving these completely clear i just felt this area here was very private anyway um with all the bushes and stuff there you wouldn't really be able to see in here uh, and the same there which looks out obviously onto the pool area there my darlings yes yes i did flopped in a little log burner as well but we're gonna get to that in a little bit um what else did i do i just changed a few things i've put a little pocketed window here um where the kitchen area is going to be kitchen and dining i just feel like that spot needed it i've also pulled out all of this here that we're going to be putting around here together um and that's about it i think oh and also changed out the skylights that i put on the roof as well and just used these roof pieces um and the, they do glitch out slightly they look like they're open on the sides but in my head maybe there's like a pulley system where you can actually open them out the elements you can watch the trees when maybe you're lying in bed of an evening stunning so that is it coming along i like how this is looking i do i'm i'm here for this this is much more more tastes now so this is what we're going to start with now we're going to start on this little area here which is just directly off the kitchen so i thought it would be the perfect place just just have a nice little patio seating moment and maybe a picnic bench as well um the main well not main dining area but the main outside dining area is going to be up here i'm going to put it up here uh, i might even try and get a pergola up here just as, i'll see how it looks i don't know if it's going to vibe with this build very well but we'll see how it looks if not it'll just be open to the elements and i'm fine with that um and then i'm going to do a barbecue area here because the views from here would just be amazing like imagine like you know staying here with your family or friends and you've got this lovely big space up here too um yeah to play around with so here we go anyway this plant is in the right place i've also used that ivy on that wall there um i like how this area looks it doesn't really need too much doing to it uh, again i always try and go for kind of a little bit more less is more especially when i'm doing a contemporary modern vibe um so that's what we're doing today yes we are now this little area here is going to be perfect darlings perfect for a little sun lounging moment so i'm going to do a few of these i think i think i'm going to try and fit about maybe five or six in um we'll see how we go i could put some that way in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to lop you into that corner there like that and then that will give me an idea of space where i could plop the other ones in plop plop them in darling oh i don't like that <laughs> Spatial awareness and then you don't like it. So I think I'm going to keep them straight. I'm going to keep them straight. Let's find a lovely surface table. I always use this one here because I just think this looks like a proper lovely outside table. And it's going with the vibes that we've got here as well. So that is what we're going to do. Oh, vibes. Vibing with that. Utterly incomplete day. That's what we're doing. Yes, it is. And I might... I might just see... If this would work, I'm thinking about putting a little bit of soil just in between these and maybe putting a few ferns just up, just in this area here, just to like break that up, that middle bit, because that was just looking a little bit je ne sais quoi to me. And we don't want it to look je ne sais quoi today. No, we don't. So I think that's what we're going to do. Come here. Are you the one I want? Are you the one I want? Ooh, -hoo. no, honey. Yeah, I like that. I love that little area. I think the greenery just broke it up nicely. I'm wondering, hmm, is there a small, there is a smaller one of this, isn't it? Yes. I wonder if I can put that on the fence. Do you know what? I don't hate that. And I don't mind that it's a little bit taller than the fence either. Oh, we'll do that. Yes, we will. Uh, and this bit here, the pool, I'm going to leave as it is. I am going to light it up. But I'll do that in a sec. But I'm just wondering... Because this space just looks like the perfect little space. Maybe do some yoga. Oh, and a little meditation cushion here as well. Right next to the yoga. So this is a lovely spot to have a swim over. Because you can't get any other access here unless you swim. Do some yoga, dry off, and then sit down and have a bit of meditation. <gasps> oh, I'm vibing with that. Yes, I am indeed. Uh, and we'll just light it up. Some candles. 
just around this area. Let me see what that looks like in the dark. Oh, that would be relaxing, that would. Yes, it would indeed. Uh, and then I'll get the lights in the pool as well. I mean, the lights are in the pool, but they're not shining through. I think it's the water texture. So as long as I know they're there, that is absolutely fine with me. Yes, it is indeed. Now, can we please get back to a bit more lighting, my loves? Oh, there we go. Stunning. So I think what we need to do now, I'm not going to do too much detail out here because this is a rental property. I don't really want that to be the thing of having loads of clutter and stuff everywhere. I want it to look very clean. Um, what I am going to do here, though, is put an outside shower here, I think. Outside shower. Oh, yes. And in case you've got dogs with you or something, that could be very useful. Uh, and around here, what we need to do is just lighten light up this area here as well so not too much because i do want it to be very cozy i'm just going to use a few of the in fact i'm just going to use one let me see what we're working with back here likewise mm, i think what we need is just a few of these like little outdoor kind of solar light looking things and i'll just plonk them in these e these areas here and let's have a look at that at night oh she's beautiful yeah something all right. Yes, I am. So, we're done with that. I like this outside space. Very nice. We're going to get up to here. I'm going to find a nice dining table and we'll start doing this area. I've decided on these dining chairs here with this glass top. Just because I, I still want it contemporary, but I still want it to look kind of rustic as well because this is in the middle of the woods um, and it's supposed to be a cabin. It's a very, very contemporary one. Now, design choices. I'm going to try all this and we're going to do this together because I'm thinking I would love some kind of um, seating. I would love some kind of seating out here. So I'm thinking of making this area covered. Now, that's not going to ruin me chimney, is it? No, chimney's fine. And I'm thinking of doing seating around in here and then putting a fireplace in here as well. So they have got some kind of outdoor fireplace. I'm going to be vibing with that, I think. All right, let's get you there, you there, and we'll figure out a better spot in a minute. Um, I probably know the chairs that or the sofas that I'm going to use. It's probably going to be the modular one. I'm going to flop the modular one out around here. In that kind of fashion, I like the shape of this as well. So it's got like the back just on a little bit of it. I kind of like that. That's giving me vibes. Uh, and we're going to add a fireplace place in. I like that. I like how that is... Um, coming about i do the only problem is i do probably want to get a half ball going here uh, and i'm wondering if i can get the dining table in this spot now because then that's got cover i like that and i think now that i've put that in there now now that i've put that in there now what is that what is that, is that english hayden because I, I i i beg to differ but I don't want to put a half wall up there anymore now that I've got the dining table in there. I think that would just be nice open to kind of the elements. And they're still going to get a good view from this spot. The reason I wanted it in the front of this decking area is because of the view. But I reckon we can still get a good view going on there. Um, so I'm thinking in this space, maybe a bar. A bar would look really lovely here um, with some nice seating and maybe a couple of benches here as well. Here's what I've done. So bar, use the Star Wars one. I just think it works up here um same bar stools as well as the chairs that we've used in the dining area i've also utilized those modular seats here as well just a couple of benches in case you wanted to sit down here have a drink and look at the view over that side candle um a little plant separating so rather than doing a half wall i was like i still want some kind of like feeling of separation between this area and that area so i've just put that plant thing up from the blooming rooms um kit pack and it looks nice there i am going to maneuver it though so it's kind of there we go lovely um what else did i do i popped up a mirror here plant on top of the table as well and i just think that space looks nice i think it looks bloody lovely and i like that we've done that that's kind of added something extra to the build as well that i really like it kind of envelopes this area into the main kind of house as well or cabin sorry even though it's a house <laughs> So I think what we're going to make a start on is this area down here, which reminding you living room and then kitchen area, kitchen slash dining. I might do a small high table in here in the kitchen 
in case you want to eat breakfast and stuff on. Um, but these are the wallpapers that I decided on the inside as well. So it's kind of dark in here, but I'm, I'm kind of vibing with that. So that's what we're going to go for. So let me pull out some gorgeous things for the living room and we'll start plopping around together. I've pulled out lots of vibes, love. So the, here we go. Vibing. Right. Okay. Going for these sofas from Island Living. I just think they suit this place nicely. Still contemporary, but I don't know. They've got a kind of holiday home kind of vibe to me and i love that i do so i'm using them um you can go there for the minute i just need to get this positioning completely right what i was thinking is about putting the chairs or the sofas around about here in this position let's get that lamp we're going to go for this lamp here still want to bring a bit of wood in here but this whole build i do want it to kind of feel I want it to be very dark. I want the rooms to be a little bit darker with this beautiful outlook of green from the windows. So I'm kind of vibing with that as well. Now I'm thinking I'm going to put this here. Is that in the right way? It's in the right position. It's all there. Beautiful. And then I'm going to flop you here. A little bit of music. Not going to do any TV in this room. I think you'd be... Um, oh, goodbye. Um, I think you wouldn't be watching TV if you were here. You know, you'd be enjoying your company and doing all of the things. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now I'm going to flop one of you there, a little loggy one. I'm going to put you here. And I'm going to do a couple more of these on either side here, I think. Like maybe one there, one there. It almost makes me want to put that throw box in between them. Let me see how that would look mm, i might shift shuffle you up to that end and keep those two kind of semi close together like that and i was thinking this this um coffee table i think they should be able to maneuver around there quite easily I'm gonna get a rug from this room yeah i just haven't decided on a rug so i'll go and do that in just a sec let me just get this positioned perfectly so this is the rug I've chosen, the one from Dream Home Decorator. I've also put up a tapestry up on the wall here. Again, just to soften and bring that rustic vibe in a little bit more into this otherwise very contemporary space. And a plant, a fiddled leaf fig that will probably die when you cough at it. Um, and a little side table here that I've put some candles on. I just think this space feels, I don't know, it's dark, but it feels uh, relaxing, shall we say, you know? Yeah, I'm vibing with that. Vibing. Okay, living room complete. Let's move on to the kitchen. So here we go with the kitchen. I am thinking, well, I know what I'm thinking because I've just done it and it looked marvellous. So what I've done here as well is put in a bit of storage. I just thought this kitchen is not going to have that much storage apart from the counter drawers and stuff. Um, so anything that people might need, a hoover, whatnot, we can just pretend that is all in there beautiful job we're going to bring that all the way across to here oh and you um because i am going to be using this one here lovely we're going to do that induction hob on top next to it there and then i'm going to put a fridge i'm going to use what one did i use i used this one from no we escape i'm going to flop you to there my love beautiful Stunning. And I thought this space here, rather than doing a high dining table, I think what I'm going to do is just um, um, have an island. I forgot what I was going to say then, but, you know, we're having an island, loves. Welcome. Welcome to my island, to be honest. I'll put the sink on this part here. We're going to use an industrial black sink, I think, for the vibes. Um, wondering if I could use you a little look at that oh you're around the oh oh no nope nope we're fine we're fine it's all gonna work oh i'm vibing um chair wise maybe let's go for ye old faithful have a look at you in here yeah yeah i'm vibing with that in here do need to get a bin in though as always so i'm gonna flop one maybe here and hopefully they should be able to still use that closet space. I'm sure that they will. That is the main part of it. Let's get some beautiful things out to make it look delicious. So there we go. Just a few little finishing pieces. What I did. Coffee machine. Put a dishwasher in as well. Because you don't normally be doing dishes on your holidays. Um, 
and I put this plant up on this corner or this wall there. And then I thought this here could be nice for some welcome drinks when you arrive um, to your holiday place. Rather lovely indeed. Rather lovely indeed. I'm going to make that into a small toilet, but that'll be boring. Um, so I think what we're going to do is move on to the bedrooms. So I went ahead and furnished the bedroom, the bottom bedroom, which is down at the bottom here the of the main house. Um, and we went for this kind of vibe in here. I really like the vibe of it in here. Kind of that rustic, but still contemporary feeling. Um, I've also put in built-in wardrobes into each of the bedrooms as well. Just makes sense. A lot more storage and stuff in that area. Um, why do people, things keep disappearing? Stop it. I'll turn around and there'll be things gone from here now as well. Like the bed, for example. Four poster bed. I just thought that worked really well with this room. Lots of exposed stone as well and wood, but just hitting that contemporary vibe. I'm going to say that that there is from a local artist of the area. They commissioned a few pieces for this house little desk area and a little seating area as well down here and also obviously a little rug love that cheeky little rug that is from the new high school pack i like that indeed um and i just love the windows in here as well i just think it gives enough privacy makes it look contemporary and you can just imagine opening them out and seeing all of that greenery flood into the room as well which i love i've also gone ahead and furnished all of the bathrooms as well so all of the bathrooms are in this kind of style here including that small little toilet that we've just done um, in the kitchen area. Kitchen area. So we're going to go upstairs and I am going to copy that vibe up into this room. We're going to have to maneuver it around a little bit differently. Uh, and this room here is going to be a children's bedroom. So I'm going to do a couple of bunk beds on this side. I just think because that room is quite narrow, it just lends itself well to having a lovely bunk bed flopped in. So that's what we're going to do, loves. So this is not going to be exciting, but again, it's a rental property. So I want all of the rooms to feel the same, you know, so that is what we're going to do. We're going to make it look and feel the same. Yes, we are indeed, darlings. Right, I'm going to flop you to there and then you to there as well, my love. Oh, beautiful. We'll put those lights on in a minute. Are you in the wall there? You are, you little shit. Yeah, he's fine now. Stunning. Um, I'm going to flop a desk in. This might prove a bit difficult because of this room shape. But I'm wondering where I can actually fit the desk, to be honest. Um, I could fit it over this side. It'd probably be better being over this side, actually. Right by the window. Let's do that. I'm going to flop you over this a bit further. Let's get that chair up here. Lots of snowy escape items came in really handy with this build. It really did. They should have no problem getting onto that side of the bed. Um, and the best thing about these beds is they've all got that lovely skylight right above it. So <gasps> imagine laying in the bed and just seeing those trees sway in the breeze and watch the stars through the cracks of the trees. Oh, it sounds like a dream. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to flop you. Lots of flopping today, isn't there? Lots of flopping going on. More than normal. More than usual, to be honest. Um... Now, I think that chair's a bit too close. I think you probably need to be centralised to the room. And then we're going to use the one without the fro on the other side. And then I'm probably going to fit that green plant in between it as well, if it fits in between it. Um, it should be fine, but let's give it a good old bash and see what happens. Oh, she's vibing. I'm vibing with that. Absolutely vibing. And let's get that bonsai tree. I just thought this was a cute little nod to the outside forest area. Oh, that was beautiful and a little desk lamp as well a little desk lamp i would say these um this property comes with maybe a private chef and stuff as well who cooks all your food very exclusive um so that is the uh the story the storyline where am i going to be putting that mirror probably be better by the bathroom entrance there wouldn't it um so we'll pop a full length mirror there and we're going to get another commissioned art piece on top of there as well. Now, I don't think that rug's going to work in this room just because of the size of it. So we've gone with that one. I think it's from the same pack as the other one that we were using. Dream Home Decorator. Is it? It is. Gone for a black one in here though. Just think it fits the vibes nicely. Um, commissioned art play piece. Some lovely bit of art going on there. And that's it. And then I also put a little dream capture. Gre dream capture? dream catcher i put that behind the bed there lovely so what we're going to do now is move on to the final room which is the children's bedroom so let me pull out lots of 
gorgeous things. Come on, get started. This is what I've come up with. Now, let's grab everything. So, bunk bed. Bunk bed is a must in this room, so we're going to flop it in into this corner here. Uh, I've also put a little night light down here as well, which will send all stars up on the wall. <gasps> stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put this little bear chair into the corner here. Little nod to the outside. Maybe that's where the parents can um, read them a book before they go to bed. Now, saying about parents, I had an idea. If the parents were out kind of like entertaining on this decking area and it was time for the kids to go to bed, kids can go into bed take them up to bed and then they can keep an eye on them through these windows here um which i love i got rid of that mirror and i've just flopped that there instead now kids obviously need a toy box to play around with so we're going to put a toy box in and an activity table onto this spot here just in case they want to do a little bit it may it might be raining you know a little bit about indoor activities for the day that's what we're going to do there and then I'm going to finish it off by putting a mirror up there in case the kids want to check out how cool they are or pull some silly bum faces in the mirror. The option is up to them. Um, and I think just to finish this room off again, I want to soften it down with a rug. Now, the rug that I had in my head is the runner rug. This one here. I'm wondering if it comes in a tone that would work in this room. I've kept this room a little bit lighter. Um than the rest of the house just because this is I want it to be a bit more lifted for the kids you know um so I'm thinking that might be okay uh, it's not really fitting in well I think I might need to size it down with a tool mod actually I'm doing a 1.9 now can we just get with a program today please Satan because you're pissing me off darling yeah I like that okay again rental so I'm not going to do too much like personalization i want it to be clean and you know je ne sais quoi. i'm very much happy with what we've come up with today my loves let's get some better lighting going on here oh there we go let's get those roofs going up we're going to finish on this shot well finish for now what you can what you guys are going to do is go and watch a before and after video um for this new build contemporary cabin 2.0 i will pop it up on the gallery Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, and that's it. Goodbye.